While some city of Grand Rapids employees are still at work, including the Code of Compliance Office. But a property management company is asking for that office to take it easy on them after getting a trash citation in the midst of the governor's stay-at-home order. Our Michael Martin is live in Grand Rapids with that story. Michael. Yeah, Ryan, Doug, the city's Office of Code Compliance does important work in making sure that our homes and our neighborhoods stay safe. And in fact, the folks over at United Property Management, who we spoke to today, say they've got great relationships with a lot of the folks that work over there in code compliance. But after receiving a recent citation for having some trash in one of their yards, they're asking the city to just reconsider their approach to issuing certain exterior property violations, at least while we're all shut down. So over the last two weeks during the shelter in, in place order that came out from our governor, we have been operating on a minimum staff and half of our employees are working from home. Like the rest of West Michigan, Tim Vandentorn and his staff at United Property Management have changed the way they operate in the face of COVID-19. When the uh, shelter in place orders came out uh, several weeks ago, um, we noticed an uptick in our exterior violations from the city. So I went down to the city and asked them if uh, we we're going to expect to um, receive uh, less of these violations now that we're laying off staff and uh, we're not allowed to be out and about. He says the city told him at the time that code compliance is considered an essential service. We share the same vision. We want healthy homes and we want our houses to be code compliant. Uh, but right now, it's a state of uh, disaster in Michigan. They received this complaint on March 23rd for a trash violation at one of their properties on Page Street. And we were given seven days to pick it up. Well, all of our contractors are only responding to emergency work orders right now. So we disregarded the, the litter violation. We sent it to the tenants, as we normally do, asking them to pick it up. But it didn't get done. Come April 2nd, he says they received this $80 fine in the mail for not clearing the trash outside the property. Like literally blown litter, like you would expect anywhere in Michigan after a winter, after the snow melts, things are exposed mm -hmm. and there's some trash around. Most of our contractors have young families uh, and they're, they're providing for them too. And we don't want them to be exposed to this and, and bring that home to their families. Uh, that will just hurt us for longer. Vandentorn completely understanding of the need for code compliance, just hopeful that the city will reconsider its current approach. I just want to ask the city, uh, send, send your code compliance inspectors home. Uh, let them uh, be safe. Let them be healthy. Let, let, let us all get through this together. And um, let's not have our contractors out running around picking up trash. It's going to be there in six weeks. Right. And, and we can pick it up in six weeks. Now, we did reach out to the city about the situation. They said, in part, under Governor Whitmer's stay home, stay safe executive order, enforcement of nuisances, trash, rubbish, garbage, and debris is considered an essential service. We continue to enforce these hazards to protect the health, safety, and welfare of community members. Now, they did also remind everybody that if you receive a citation you disagree with, then you can always file an appeal. There is a link to that city website in our article on Fox 7 online.com. For now, live in downtown Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.